jump into a handstand. Trying to keep your body square, facing the beam, not allowing your body to wiggle or turn will prevent these falls. A back handspring, back tuck. Now, what would have been a more exciting combination would, would, would have been a back handspring immediate back somersault. She stopped. A front somersault with a one leg takeoff. For those of us who can't even do a somersault, mm -hmm. John, to do it on a four-inch uh, wide beam is, to me, is really something. Well, they start off on the floor doing these. Then they go to these very low beams that are about a foot off the ground, and two feet off the ground, and higher and higher. John, where do they maintain their eye contact when they're on the beam? Well, throughout the entire routine, they are constantly trying to focus their eyes either on the end of the beam or at the side. They have a whole, the whole routine is geared to focus their, their eyes, like she just did on the side, to make sure that it's choreographed. Even head movements, hand movements, everything's choreographed, including where they're going to focus. Now, she's focusing down at the beam, where she's going to punch her feet before the dismount. And that was a very good dismount, double twist.